Okay. Bath. I might use a bathroom break real quick. Okay. Go for it. I. This is fascinating. Hmm. Because I'm not totally sure that. I mean, I guess I'll save most of the thought process here, but I I really am not sure that it's any of these people. That would be that. Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. It just, yeah. I'm back. Welcome. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pokemon Reborn. I am the Shinkansen Sandslash, <laughs> welcoming you back. Uh, I'm joined, as always, by... It's me, Sean. And I, Nimble Rat. And I'm your host, Josh Red. Uh, last time, we decided to help Adrian pr protecting the blue and the red orbs as we transport them far away. Uh, we met a couple of familiar faces on this train, uh, but as we were guarding them, they disappeared right from under our nose. And now the chief is instructing us to find out what happened to them and who, if anyone, took them. So, Sean, before we do anything else, um, I want to sit here and, and reason through some thoughts I've been having. Okay. Um, do the class trial so, music. I will. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so we we heard what we assumed to be a Pokemon cry, but now you are reflecting might have been a Pokemon attack right true yeah. um so what we can narrow down is that there was one noise which implies that this is not some grand scheme where there are a lot of different machinations at work right at the very least there is one pokemon acting upon what happened here like we didn't hear a cacophony of noises we didn't hear a noise from one end of the train and then a noise from the other we heard one Pokemon. So I think it's safe to say that if this is someone on the train, it's probably not uh, people working together, right? Like, there's probably not a team up going on. But also, if we think, just metagaming a little bit here, if we think that this is a quest for a Pokemon, we are pretty sure we're not getting Kyogre right. or Groudon here, yeah. right? So we can maybe assume that we are getting one Pokemon, maybe not even related to Kyogre or Groudon, but just like we found the reveal lens when we were getting Regigigas, yeah. like the items might not necessarily be aligned with what Pokemon we're getting. Um, but we can, I think, safely assume that there is one Pokemon in this like quest, right? Um, at least one relevant Pokemon at this stage. So I would guess that we can rule out Tapus, like mm. any duos, any, any trios, yeah, whatever. Latios and Latios. Right, exactly. Um, but also, I actually think we can rule out the people on this train as suspects. Because if there is one Pokemon acting on stuff, then it wouldn't make sense for any of the people on this train who do not have a legendary or mythical. Um, to have been the one using the Pokemon to act upon this train, like to cause this incident. Instead, it would be a rogue Pokemon. Before you move, <laughs> we are we are convinced that the orbs have disappeared, but we have also not seen hide nor tail of them. And also, just again from a meta perspective, we are probably not leaving this train, which means that the orbs are probably somewhere here. Hmm. In that regard, we have not seen them yet, so it would it would follow that the Pokemon or the person has them, but we have not seen the Pokemon. And if we're assuming, like I'm suggesting, that it is not on a person, can we check our inventory? Would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We took Joshua the blue Redon. That's Joshua insane. Redon. 
<laughs> okay, that's crazy because I thought we were gonna see both of them if we were gonna see them. What the so, fuck? Yeah, the fact that now I'm a little more lost than I was. <laughs> that's still in set so funny. You can check your own inventory and see the blue orb. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's so, can, we, I, I, can we give it to one of our Pokemon? <laughs> okay, no, I guess we can't. No, well, if we... <gasps> we did something! <laughs> Whoa, we, I don't know if we were supposed to do that! Look, Sean has the blue orb. What? Sean stole the blue orb? I always told you Sean was a no good rotten little... Th oh, this might be Crodberry. Silence. What? <laughs> What's should I have, going on here? Should, should I have saved and reason? Should I have saved before I did that? <laughs> Maybe we should have saved. I, this is crazy. What's happening? Uh, I probably saved at the end of the last episode, right? I don't. Uh, I don't think you did. It was just a bunch of it dialogue. Look, no. We we could slam through it real quickly if we wanted to. What do you think? Yeah, let's. Let, I I think we should do that because I think we might have. <laughs> I don't want to actually skip like half the quest, even though it is really right, funny. Exactly, exactly. You All are right, absolutely. Right. Keep... Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, this, this won't take long. You are absolutely keeping that in. Oh no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I thought I thought if we were gonna be framed, it'd be framing us completely. Like. Yeah, that has have both of them. We can hear the sound again. It sounds so familiar, but I can't place it. It does sound familiar, but I have no it idea what it is. So at this point already, we can probably okay, check yeah, our yeah, inventory yeah. and... Sure enough. There it is. That's so funny. Okay, wait, can not, you... Can, let's wait, not wait, use can, it, but... No, 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 can you? You can use it there, okay. I'm gonna register it. <laughs> I, I would assume that if we use it anywhere on the train, we'll get caught. <laughs> yeah. Because that, that seemed like generic dialogue we got before, where it was like, you know... Oh, they had it. Yeah. I'm still just so impressed that you inferred that we would have it in our own inventory. I just, I, I, so my line of logic is that potentially we would be framed. Like, mm -hmm. if this is a trickster Pokemon or like a Pokemon that's trying to like, I, although I guess it might make sense to put one on us to frame us and, and then be the able other. to get away with the other scot-free. But I, I was assuming it was just like uh, it was going to be both of them. Right. OK, well, now we're all caught up, I think. Let's see what everybody has to say in this timeline. Oh, what do you can, want? You can ask everybody about their motives and alibi. Motives? What motive could I possibly have to? Oh. You must mean the motives of the other maggots on this train. Well, how about that sandy girl? That ravenous animal flooded my entire office. She's always going on and on about environment this, environment that. I swear, even a mighty Anna with a dislocated jaw lap yaps less than she does. So this might be new lore, because I don't think we knew that she worked at the uh, Reborn Grand Hall. And that her mm. office that her office was the one that got flooded by Sandy. Oh my gosh. I bet a mangy mutt like her would jump with the anything to get her grimy mitts on the blue orb. Imagine the terrorist activism she could pull with that thing. The statistics she could bias. All that power for what? For a stinking myth. Bah! All right, good talk. Uh, not super compelling, but. <laughs> Alibi? Alibi? You dare accuse someone like me? I'll have you know, filth, that I am an upstanding citizen of this wretched community, and I would never resort to such a heinous undertaking, such as petty thievery, unlike gutter trash such as you, the likes of which would sooner spew vomit up the street and slurp it up before ever so much as thinking once 
about the common good and bastions of justice, such as I, a city ambassador, whose very station it is to ensure that shit stains like you are snuffed out like a fart. In the very wind you taint with your malignant odor, you call your presence, and in doing so, shit upon the grave of every respectable leader such as myself, who has ever lived before your miserable death rat of a father, and then slovenly waste cloth you call your mother, even first decided to copulate like the slimy roaches you are, and thereby defecate upon this putrid city in the first place, systematically degrading whatever miserably little hints of progress there had been in the first place, like dumping corrosive acid on a festering wound, hemoglobins oscillating violently in a pathetic effort to heal what little sacred flesh still remains, only to be spat out and spat on by a scathing insect who forgot it hadn't spit up its last morsel of bile. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't was... know how much we're getting from that. <laughs> that was really impressive. You ripped that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost without Thank breathing. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> uh, all right. That was fun. What others? Bah. I've barely seen a sobbing soul besides you and the other busybody officers since boarding this clattering tin can of a train. No one wants to come talk to old Crodbury. No respect for the elders. Not even when she's in the snack cart. What am I, tainting the food? Just by standing near it? Do you think I'm you? And the one person who did show up in the middle of the blackout, no less, was that tits for brains bimbo gym leader? Oh, so we have evidence that Julia crossed this train car. Mm. She barely even counts as company on her least destructive days. But okay, we finally got some actual information there. <laughs> hey, then Sean, out of curiosity, yeah. would you mind doing a save real quick here? Sure. I just can you reactivate that blue orb cutscene real quick? Sure. And then reload. And but I just I want to I want to look at something. We're in Q eighty one RK seven. Interesting. Uh, isn't that like what the train car? I think the the conductor said something about that. Like that's the make and model of the train. Actually, what does the description say? Shiny blue orb is said to have a legend tied to it, known to have a deep connection with the Hoenn Ho Ho region. The only like single Pokemon that I can think of that's Hoenn related would be Deoxys, but I somehow don't think it's oh. Deoxys. Well, the sound but from before did kind of sound like Deoxys. It was pretty alien, but it wasn't Deoxys. I, I do know that. I'm very familiar with Deoxys sounds. It is one of my favorites. Okay, mm -hmm. no, we don't need to go any further. Julia is there. Yeah. Who is this green guy? That's the conductor. I don't know who the green guy is, but we can reload. I wanted to confirm whether Julia was on the train or not. Because she's not on the train right now. Right, well, we haven't found her yet. We, we, we might find her in one of the later cars. Mm hmm But we've steer we've walked past all of them. Oh, but you know that loud elderly woman in the other cart? She kept pacing back and forth here, never went too far. But I noticed that even in her huffiest huff, she really seemed held up by her body. Like she couldn't go that fast. I think there's no way she could have made it all the way to the storage cart in the time the lights were out, if that's really the fastest she can go. Does that help? When you were explaining your theory before, I thought you were going to say that it was Mew transforming into people and being mischievous. I mean, that's still possible. We haven't gotten Mew yet, right? Yeah, that's right. Cool. This is correct. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon, the juice. What possible motives could I, a child barely grown into his breeches, possibly have for undertaking a perilous heist to steal a priceless, all-powerful artifact or two? And the notion is simply preposterous. I am on this train as it is the first leg of my round-world journey. And I'll have you know that I have a scholarship. This is for my education and something. <laughs> World leader, uh, sorry. Granted, the organization responsible for giving me the scholarship is not aware that they have done so. But I would never do something as foolish as squander a chance for a perfectly good education. 
Especially not for something as droll as the red and blue orbs. Even if they are insecurely guarded. Worth thousands. And unfathomably powerful. I simply would not do it. I... Mm. Not super compelling so far. Shit, bah. Yes, yes, if it's an alibi you want, look no further than the flat-brained buffoon standing by the door. I've seen Stunfisk with more intellectual depth than he. This Claude refused to let me off the train for what may as well have been hours, even after we'd come to a full stop. Sandstorms this, perimeter that. Even while the lights were still out, he was increasingly, incessantly annoying. Of course, there's no use in asking why I wanted to leave the train. It's definitely not because I am afraid of the dark. Mm, that seems likely. Only babies are afraid of the dark. And I, of course, am a gentleman. Ah, a reasonable line of questioning. Yes, I believe I have evidence enough to implicate at least one other individual on this train. Though if you give me an hour or two, I'm sure I could gather and plant enough to have the whole company convicted. Oh my God. God. For the current time, I would direct you to that man in the dark robes. John, I believe his name was. When the light went out, he ran through the place like syphilis through a brothel. Mom told me not to use that expression, but I told her that all language is a self-referential structure of arguments and increasing emotional intensities, and I had several more intense expressions ready for her if she tried to stop me. Okay. Anyways, the oaf practically tripped over me. Dithering out some apologies, but didn't stop bother to stop running. So he was also running around. Shows you where his priorities lie. I'm sure he was making a break for it, straight back for the back of straight to the back for the orbs. Go ahead and arrest him first. You can thank me later. So we have Julia We're not to getting your jokes. And John running to the back. Yeah. Interesting. Well, presumably running to the back. He just kind of like, he probably ran back there. Right, yeah, that's true. But he was already sure. in the train behind. Oh. Eustace. Yeah, he was in the cart behind. So why would Eustace. he be running back that way? Mm -hmm. He would have had to go to the front first. I can confidently say that no person has left or boarded the train since we had departed the station. Whoever the culprit is, they must still be on board. Not for lack of trying, though. As soon as the lights went out, that kid over there wouldn't shut up. He kept screaming the entire time as if he were in some kind of mad panic. At least we know he didn't leave the room. Okay, so it's I do not... hate saying this, but I do think we can rule out Eustace. Yeah, I don't think it was him. He didn't leave the room. Yeah. Unless he had, like, a Pokemon do it. Yeah, unless he's coordinating with the Pokemon. All right, here's our... There she oh is. Oh my god, she's back. One of our primary suspects. Hi. I'm not under arrest, am I? I'm too young and peppy to go to jail. I have no normal reason to steal the orbs. I don't know why I interjected normal in there. <laughs> Maybe I have some <laughs> fanatical reasons. Honest. <laughs> Maybe the 40 and slip. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. There was an explosion, so it had to be me, right? Right. I heard Natural you earlier assumption. in this episode. That's fair. That's a reasonable course of thought no one could blame you for having. But even I'm not dumb enough to actually blow up the train we're moving on. Mm. Are what you if there sure? was a chain reaction and every individual car blew up, like in those movies created a freak accident and killing everyone? I'm an, Julia, ar I'm an arsonist, not a mass murderer. Julia, yes. you were immediately on the scene of the very first train crash of this game. Uh, yeah. That's very true. I just like them. I like I some people like train spotting. I like train crash spotting. <laughs> like a, an explosion, Otaku. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they go to demolition sites with their camera. It's like oh, don't, don't. <laughs> me, me me riding a bicycle in front of the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is gonna sound bad, but I can explain. During the blackout, I was hiding under a table that's false it's not because i was scared i promise no no it's just i i didn't expect the lights to be out for so long i thought it would be a brief flicker 
so I thought it would be funny if when the lights went out, I ducked under the table and then they come back and then my date would be like, huh, where'd she go? And then I'd pop up and be like, boo, and I'd totally have gotten him. But then the lights never came back up and then I thought it might be a while, but I had already committed to the bit. <laughs> And so I thought maybe the lights will stay out for a while and maybe I can just go get a snack while I'm waiting for them to come back. Mm. So that's why she was supposedly running to the front of the train. So I crawled out and came back and then the lights turned on and now I'm under arrest. You have to help me. I just wanted to boo him. It was Miss Clodbury in the ballroom with the candlestick. No, I don't know that. I'm actually an idiot, sorry. But that would be funny. <laughs> I don't think that this train even has a ballroom. Or a candlestick. Or a candlestick. Uh, anyway, okay, this is going to sound really bad, but I'd rather you hear it from me than him. Uh, me and that guy were totally talking about how he'd rob this train. Okay. It's a normal conversation okay. to have, yeah. Just hypothetically. Entirely Hypothetically. We said I could go distract the conductor, not blow up the engine, and maybe turn the lights out while he snuck into the back to nab the orbs. <laughs> I didn't do it, but if I did do it, here's how I would do it. This but implies it was just that they for knew. fun conversation. This implies that they knew the orbs were on board. Yeah, that's actually a, a good point. Yeah, that is a good catch. Yeah, because I don't think anybody else was supposed to know the orbs were here. Unless, unless as soon as the train blacked out, the chief just screamed like, The orbs! Where'd the orbs go? Are the orbs okay in the back of the train? Someone Where's check the, the orbs! Orb? <laughs> Where's the blorb? Not my blorb and blorb! We weren't going to go through with it. And for the record, he brought it up, not me. Okay. Although, does this maybe not imply her, but imply him? Yeah. About knowing sure. the orbs? Well, yes. I think... Both? Well, she mentioned it pretty casually. I mean, she would know about them, but if he brought it up, then he was the one with that information. Yeah, mm -hmm. either of these two. It almost sounds like both of them had the the, the, the linked information. Well, no, but what, what I'm saying is that she, she would have had the information to act off of, but he came in to the train knowing mm. that the orbs would be on it because he brought up the topic of robbing the train because she yep, yep. couldn't have if she didn't know the orbs were on the train. And elephant in the room with it, it is Maxwell, and we have the blue orb. Yeah, and he might have the red orb. Maybe he planted the blue orb on it because he doesn't want it. I've got the orb. <laughs> oh, he already got that. Yeah. Will you at least visit me in jail? Champion Sean, I don't have any evidence that your league colleague is definitely responsible for blowing up the engine. I'm just saying, I'd be more surprised if she didn't do it. <laughs> All right, Maxwell, you're suspect number one right now, I think, aside from us. Well, it seems like we're on opposite sides again, hmm? But I'm innocent as innocent can be. What have you got to ask me? You know, I don't think there's a point in denying this one. Either of the orbs has power enough that could give me the edge I need to bring the magma gang back to full glory. That's just a no-brainer, right? I'd just be making myself look more suspicious, suspicious if I lied about that. Oh, okay, no, sh short and sweet. I'd love to give you an alibi. I was sitting right here the whole time. Didn't move an inch, like, good, like a good little boy. The problem is, the person who could corroborate that story disappeared herself. Which I'm guessing leaves me in the shitter. She and I were having a lovely conversation. No idea why she'd just up and run off unless she got a very wrong idea. Well, I hate to do this, but that Julia girl said some pretty suspicious things. She suggested how she could go head up to the front and make the lights go out herself, and then lo and behold, out they went. But she was right here when that actually happened, so I don't imagine how she could have done that, unless she uses an electrode, right? I'm imagining an interesting scenario in which she pulls it down the center of the train, scoring a strike in the engine room. But I didn't see any of that, so best to discount it. <laughs> she's <laughs> suspicious, but I don't think she's guilty. You, on the other hand, yeah, he kept it pretty short and sweet. Like, he doesn't really have an alibi at all. Nope. Yeah. The only thing that could corroborate his alibi is this kid. Oh, yeah, it's true, actually. I'm annoyed. That couple in there was definitely talking about pulling off a heist on this train. When the lights went out, I was so sure they were going to do it. And that guy has been annoying me the whole ride. 
I was going to stick my leg out and trip him in the dark as soon as he started walking back to the storage car. But he never did. A few mm. others came and went. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. But he really was right there the whole time. How I wish I could have seen him fall flat on his face. It would have been so epic. Everyone would have clapped. <laughs> and then and then he did the Opa Gangnam style. <laughs> All right. Uh, am I cursed? I don't think Sandy's even on our radar right now. <laughs> did a Hoopa jinx me? Is my fate to suffer misfortune after misfortune oh every time I so much as venture outside? Pause, it's Hoopa. It's Hoopa. It's gotta be Hoopa. <laughs> I, I had oh. that thought as well. I had that thought before this, yeah. Shit, you're right. It can Actually. teleport things. It, it's There's a sandstorm outside, it's Hoopa. It's absolutely Hoopa. Uh. It teleported the orb into our inventory. I would bet yeah. that the other orb is either on someone who doesn't know it, or is just somewhere else on the train. Yeah, I and I would say so. Hoopa. Ho yeah, Hoopa would make sense. Now, Damn. which Hoopa are we gonna fight? That's a. That's <laughs> also a good question. What type is Hoopa? But I. I think uh, it, it is none of these people. Shit. Hoopa's type depends. Yeah. If it's the little guy, if it's the little guy, it's psychic ghost. If it's the big man, it's psychic dark. Okay. Dude, this is great for Deedaloo. It is. Don't tell me you suspect me too. Well, hold on. Would she say Hoopa outright if it actually was a Hoopa that did the thing? Like, isn't okay, I don't think she knows. No, no, no. no. She's I, just I, 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 yeah. I know the NPC doesn't know, but the writer knows. I think the writer's trying to subtly clue you in to what's uh, going on. Maybe. Okay, sure. I've been known to go to extremes for the sake of the environment. And sure, the blue orb has been said to be with a powerful water source, and together with the red orb could reshape the climate. And sure, the conditions of the climate is a growing threat that nobody seems to either know what to do about or care enough to help. But that doesn't mean I was going back there to steal the orbs. Although, if someone did steal the orbs, they should definitely use them to help the planet. That's just a true statement of fact. Think about it. Okay. Okay, so this isn't the most positive alibi, but at the time of the incident, I was being detained by that officer over there. He caught me over here just looking for the bathroom, I swear. And he held me up the entire time until it was already too late. Er, I mean, until the lights came back on. There's no way I could have had a chance to get them. It's a pretty good alibi. I'm glad you asked. You remember that Ignosia Crodbury whose office we flooded? Turns out she's here and I think she wants revenge. She started working from home after that, and I may have intercepted some of her personal correspondences. May have committed some felonies by stealing her mail. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to sell the orbs to her corporate shells. Is that real? She has a history of illegal trading, and this is right up her alley. Oh, I think that was like not a literal accusation, just like inferring. And who knows what she'd buy with all the money she could get from selling them. Don't trust anything she says. Save me! What is John doing up there? <laughs> what is he doing up there? I didn't even, I didn't <laughs> notice him. I didn't even notice him. I didn't notice him either. <laughs> I was standing on guard back here at the time of the incident. First, I caught Sandy attempting to run into the storage room. Then someone else ran by me, but I couldn't catch them. Oh, so someone did run back mm. there. I heard a great deal of shuffling. A deep voice cried out, a deep voice, and then no more. Notably, I did not hear the back door of the storage cart open. Mm. So more, more, more credence to Hoopa. But there seemed to be screaming coming from the two cars down the line. So that was Eustace, I think, right? Probably, so yes, just... that would have been Eustace. Yeah, so I wonder if that simply masked it. Okay. Last guy. Ah! 
What do you want? Motives? Motives for what? What motive could I possibly have to steal the red and blue orbs and use them to return team uh, leaders to their former might? <laughs> I thought he was an orderly and not a, a team meteor guy. Maybe he was both. I need no alibi, for I am innocent. And because, although I confess, I may have charged towards a storage car with the intent of stealing just a glance at the orbs, so all the people on the train just knew about the orbs. I guess. I suppose. Yeah. I, I, we thought we were onto something when we, we realized Julia and Maxwell knew about the orbs, but it just seems like, right, like everybody knew. Oh wait, yeah, because Crodbury and Sandy did as well, they mentioned it. Yeah. I was assailed in the darkness by all of these boxes. I tripped on one, stumbled back here, passed out, and then when the lights were back on, I thought it wisest to remain hidden. It was not wise. I may have hit my head. Okay, loser. Mm -hmm. I think I have it. I haven't seen much of the others, except for stepping on that boy as he was hollering about something or other. Okay, so we know who that was now. Even though, but John, like we were saying, that doesn't like work out spatially. Like John wasn't like, like he had no reason to run across that car if Eusis was in the car to that left. Well, anyway. no, I think I think John was actually to the left of Eustace. Okay. So he had to run through that car to get to here. Maybe he was. I swear that child screamed louder than some of our toughest cases at Dr. Canal's clinic. Okay, Dark. <laughs> Kinda hate you, Eustace, his name was. I believe I saw that screen name in the CC of the message I received about this train ride. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I think I know what's going on. Eustace Overlord, I believe it was. What a devil child, he was certainly planning something. But I suspect several others of the notable passengers in this train received the same message I did. Yep. The orbs were aboard. They could be stolen, it said. Why would this is huge information? So that's how everybody knew about the orbs. Aha. Uh -huh. It's the chief. It's definitely the chief. What? There were five recipients of the message besides myself. Someone was clearly setting all this up, but who could it be? No, it's okay. So there are six suspects, right? And there are. Yeah, okay, this is the same. Yeah, we we just read that. Okay, there are six suspects, and he's saying that the message was sent to five people. Eustace was one of the other five, saying that he and Eustace couldn't have been the mastermind. Whoa. Now, this does point to it being one of the six sub suspects. Let me argue against why that is not the case. Yeah, no. Go back to our conversation he... with, what's his name, Maxwell. Or no, with Julia. She said that Maxwell brought it up. Right, so she didn't know. Maxwell she didn't did, know. meaning... So, the five Either people she... that received the message were John, Maxwell, Crodbury, uh, Sandy, and Eustace, most likely. Right, and Julia, if she was the mastermind, would know about these messages and would know that saying that she didn't know would implicate herself. Wait, what? So, I can't believe it's her. It's the chief. He is the one who knew about the train. He's the one who knew that the orbs would be on here and that it's changing last minute. And thusly, I also suspect that the chief might not be the chief. Or in Rogue. I'm with, I, I'm with Nimble here, personally. <laughs> that would all check out, honestly. So you were saying Corn Rouge real. sent an email to six people, including we know for sure Eustace, but then five others. We think the five others are basically everybody else aside from Julia. No, Eustace is one of the five. It was five people. Okay, it was five people, including yeah. Eustace. So the yes, five people are yeah. Crodberry, Eustace, Sandy, uh, Maxwell, John and Maxwell, and John. Correct. And we don't think Julia got the email because... No, she... Julia's just on the train. <laughs> she, she's just attracted to train disasters. Okay. <laughs> Just like so there, are other the people, there are other randos on this train. Uh, go to the right. Maybe Chief's in the, the orb room now. Yeah. Can we ask him his alibi? Oh, hi. Yeah, I think we should. This is the most lamentable turn of events. The one thing that makes me think it's maybe not the Chief is like they made it a point to say like, oh, well, it wouldn't be me. Don't suspect me. And like, that's like, obviously he would say that, but I almost wonder if that was like, like a meta thing like no, Sean, no he doesn't have a, he, Sean he doesn't have a name he doesn't have a name that is true <laughs> after all of our work how could we still have failed to secure the orbs it's completely baffling 
The orbs are secured in this case to which only I have the key. Hmm. No one has taken the key from me, yet there's no sign of damage on the case. How could they have just disappeared unless I were to click that key in and open it up? And where are they now? Uh, monitoring? Indeed, I was keeping a close eye on the passengers in the time leading up to the blackout. Not too much of anything happened, but I'll tell you everything I did notice. The child, Eustace, seemed to me making a fuss about everything he could. Ordering even my officers this way and that for the most trivial of things. I'd wondered if they'd been trying to occupy their attention for something, but he is just a child after all. Miss Crawberry was making a similar stink. She kept walking out to the center car, but as soon as she saw me, she would just yell something about the food being miserable and head back. I saw several others pass by to and from the dining car. But thinking about it, a couple of them, such as Sandy and John, may have ended on the opposite side from where they started. Right. Knew that. I also noticed Julia and that gang leader consort whispering a bit here and there. I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I felt it best not to intervene in a date without more evidence. After a time, the lights went out. I sent my men forward just in case so they were not around me and I was alone <laughs> and went to check on the engine room at once. It's as you know it from there. Okay. Mm. I don't think we're learning a ton of new things aside from that he was like alone. Specs. Our initial investigations turned up six possible suspects. First, Miss Crodberry. A shrewd shrew, she's, we're aware she's engaged in illegal underground trading in the past. Second, Sandy, the reserve ground top gym leader. While it's a shame to suspect a league member, she's shown a past willingness to violate the law for admittedly well-intentioned activism. Third, former magma gang leader Maxwell. Admittedly, flooding Crodbury's office was kind of based. <laughs> I, I also don't think he would be, um, I don't think this is the real chief because I, I can't envision a police officer uh, being like, actually, yeah, they were right. I admire them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. His gang has been dissolved, but he has an extensive history of heist. And it's hard to deny the orbs could have a particular relevance to him. Fourth, a former orderly and team meteor operative named John. He was released on bail after being captured during the Agate City Raid. Lord only knows how he got the funds for it. Oh, that's curious. He claims to have left Meteor behind, but I find it difficult to trust him nonetheless. Fifth, Electric Reborn Gym Leader Julia. We've let her get away with a lot due to her status and influence and way of talking with that vocal fry, but forget thinking twice. We'd be <laughs> lucky if she thought once about blowing something up. The state of the engine room, unfortunately, makes her a prime suspect. Finally, Eustace, a child from the Lapis Ward. Eustace has no documented criminal record, but he did get sent to lunchtime detention more than <laughs> once. <laughs> and he seems to be a particularly troubled child, as well as an intelligent one. So he got, like, we caught him doing, like, a whole illegal scheme. I wonder if he didn't get caught for that or something. A dangerous combination, and it manifests in an apparent total ethical blindness, which has led him to skirt several laws already. In each incident, he's been completely absolved on legal technicality. To be honest, the child is terrifying when he wants to be. That's it. Regrettably, it's a full house of fools. There's always a chance that someone else could be involved, but to our research, these six seem the most likely by far. Okay. Don't I think click we're... done investigating. Okay. Do we want to look through the train more? No, I want to, now that we've looked at everything, I want to save and use the blue orb. Um, I don't think, I, I don't think, I feel like 
we haven't like i i do think that using the blue orb is something we should do eventually but i think not quite yet okay and I'll, my, my argument for this is that even though we've spoken to everyone we still haven't like gotten to the place where we pick a suspect right like we mm -hmm. there's no there's been no like branching route yet right um and i think it's when we approach the branching route like if the chief is like which one of these fuckers do you think it is i think that's when we pull out the blue orb <laughs> that could be funny just like uh yeah it was me because i think there might still be context we're missing you know right yeah so yeah, yeah. we've talked like, to everyone we've got all the information yeah I'm, i just want to make sure there's nothing to examine yet no shining objects, unfortunately. It'd be pretty hilarious if it was a hidden item. Only. <laughs> yeah, item actually. finder in the red orb. That would Holy be gosh. Insane. I would lose my mind if it was a hidden item. Okay, it looks like we're good on that front. No, okay. no, no, keep going. Make sure you're in the, the storage room. Okay. Yeah, what if it was back here? <laughs> it's like, oh, it fell over. <laughs> okay uh because i i really think if we tell the chief we're done investigating it'll it'll bring us to a like he'll either he will say who do you think it is and we can just reload the save if we can't get out of it or we might like have like gathering all the suspects and then they're all like wait why am i a suspect x happened and then we're like whoa x happened <laughs> we get more and then they're like oh oops <laughs> So we think it's time to say up done investigating. I think so, unless it yep. if we if it brings us to another menu that we can't get out of that just has a list of names, then we reload and use the blue orb. I think. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're done investigating already? Are you quite sure? Chief, the red orb has been found. <laughs> Really? What the? How is their item finder better than ours? Yeah, right. <laughs> Excellent news. Let us assemble at once. They've got the bring the orb form. and all of <laughs> they bring the orb to me. <laughs> all of the primary <laughs> suspects to the dining guard. Bring the orb to me first and foremost. Yeah, into my palm. <laughs> I'll be there at once. <laughs> I require that they are orb. Report. I have the red orb right here. I was trying to see what repairs I can make to the engine, and I just found it inside. Inside the engine, you say? Yes, sir. I have no idea how it could have gotten there. The front end wasn't even accessible until I cleared away some of the debris. Give it here <laughs> to me. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> ultimate power. This sure is a red orb. <laughs> <laughs> Puts it in his pocket. <laughs> I see there's not a mark on it. <laughs> Even if it were sturdy enough to remain undamaged, if it were present at the time the engine exploded, we'd expect to see some si kind of suit or grime on it. So you think it got put there after the fact? I mean, it's probably Hoopa just teleported yeah, in there yeah. also. This must have been placed in the engine at some point after the initial destruction. Yeah, obviously. So what do we think is actually going on? Because we, we're pretty sure Hoopa is involved, but we also think the chief is is the culprit. So what, what I think is going on is that the chief is here to steal the orbs um, and that either Hoopa is just here fucking with his plans or that he knows that Hoopa. What, where was the last time we saw Corrin Rouge, by the way? Corrin Rouge. Uh, it was in it was in the desert, actually. Yeah. It was uh yeah, it was in the scrapyard. We got the magic card from him and he and he went away. Do we think maybe one of those fucking port anomaly things opened up and Hoopa came out and he was like, "Oh fuck, yes. This is my chance." Uh got the got the orbs. He got all these people on the train to cover his own presence, make other people look suspicious. Meanwhile, use Hoopa to get the orbs out in a manner that looks unsuspecting gives him a chance to get far away while all of the force is focused on dealing with these people. Right. I wouldn't put it past Because he him. has the red orb in his hand. We're, we presumably can leave with the blue orb, and then the police will just be watching everyone else here. 
but then how does he get away with the red orb he just like i i don't he like peels off his face and runs away <laughs> like if the whole if everyone in the police is focused on these people they're not going to be like hey oh where's chief going <laughs> I guess Why is true. Chief walking into the desert? <laughs> <laughs> and Hoopa could just teleport the blue orb back out of our inventory, you know? Right. Because mm -hmm. I think the 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 thing is, if he tried to steal them back in Reborn City, there would have been people who could like go after him everywhere. Now we're in the middle of nowhere, and the only cops have their attention focused on this incident. It's a lot easier to get away from three cops who are convinced that there are six evil people <laughs> yeah. uh, in the middle of the desert than it is in the middle of, like, New York City, you know? Yeah. Right. This is still Eustace. Oh, even a basculine could deduce that. Silence, child. <laughs> Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever else I please. <laughs> Officer, did your search yield anything? No, sir. We thoroughly searched all six primary suspects, and there is no sign of the blue orb. <laughs> and you violated at least eight privacy laws in the process. A young man couldn't resist getting a pat and feel in on this lady, could you? Can't say I blame you, but I don't want your grubby paws coming near me any time in the future. I took no pleasure in it, ma'am. With all due respect, I would rather eat the entire Tourmaline Desert one spoonful of sand what? at a time than touch you again. This is Damn. unrelated Holy to the shit. case. <laughs> but I just want to make sure everybody hears that. I just, I really need you to know that. <laughs> Good lord. You foul-mouthed barbarian. When we get back to the city, I'll sue you sideways. I'll make you regret the day you ever crawled out of your mother's stinking hole and... Pokemon fan game dialogue moment. <laughs> Bam. If you speak one more word, I will personally throw you out of this train and strand you in the desert. The red orb, or the Rorb as I like to call it, was found <laughs> at the opposite side of the train from where it was stolen. The blorb is still missing. <laughs> I'm beginning to have my suspicions. But before that, Sean, so that I don't have to, you tell me the results of your <laughs> investigation. <laughs> and I'll agree with you. Presumably you spoke to each of these suspects. Please now talk to the person you find most suspicious here. So we could use it right Okay, now. I think we pull out Blorb now, right? <laughs> oh Are we gosh. in agreement? We could, I mean, we could try it. I mean, I also want to see what happens when we talk to the chief. Yeah, let's talk to chief. Talk to the chief first and then load back and yeah, try to win Blorb. Yeah. Simply talk to the person that you find most suspicious <laughs> and we'll go from there. Can we talk to the, any one of them will do, no? Can we talk to him again? Talk they to say him the again? same thing. The chief? Yeah. Go on, talk to any of the sus. Can we? Can yeah, we talk no. to him? The most <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you can. Yeah. You keep talk. Oh, talking to me. Don't tell me. Could it be that you actually find me to be the most suspicious? No. Haha. <laughs> of course not. That would be ridiculous, after all. But a good joke, Sean. Quality humor from a quality champion. Oh, you are right, young champion, to be suspicious of everyone and everything. Make no assumptions. Take nothing for granted. These are the hallmarks of a truly astute detective. But I'm afraid your cunning will not be rewarded this time. Is he admitting to it? Officer, please oh, search no. the accused. Uh oh. It was all part of his plan to plan it on us. Uh, you mean you, sir? Precisely. Oh, oh I thought he was going to search Wait. us. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was going to search us. The blorb is still missing. Uh. If I am the culprit, 
I should have it on my person, should I not? Here you go. Oh, the music went out. He's going to have him search us now. All clean. Oh. <laughs> oh, all clean, sir. So you see, it couldn't be me. For if it were, where could I have hidden the blue orb? The blue orb. Until you can answer that, there's simply... Nani. <laughs> it is Hoopa. Oh, yeah, it is Hoopa. Yeah. Why, why, Hoopa. Why, why is there water here? There isn't water. It's just a... Well, actually... Um, I thought it was Sean? just a hole. Oh, the Did blue orb just let out yourself? some water. The, the blue orb just let out some water. Why is water oh. coming out of your bag? <laughs> bah! You these days don't even know how to store water right. Sean, check your bag. Do we, at this point, want to reload and then use the blorb? Yeah. Or just use uh, the blorb now. We, we would also what do what happens. Care? Well, if we could talk to everybody. I mean, there's so much dialogue we could get, probably. Yeah. True. What are you doing? <laughs> you have to check your bag quickly, or we're all sure to be in trouble. If you can't search yourself, I can do a pat drown on you. But seriously, if it keeps overflowing, this investigation is going to be all washed up now. Dive into your bag now. Hey, you. <laughs> I see what you've done. <laughs> I know what you are. A classic caper, isn't it? The cop, the thief. I would have done it much better. Back in my day, we didn't have your fancy plastic water bottles. If we didn't drink from our own canteens, we had to drink the sweat from our own armpits. Bah! So it would seem you beat us to the punch. Uh... The water coming out from your bag. Do you think it's pristine? Spring mineral, maybe? Okay. Uh... And then the chief. Why now, of all times? Oh! Oh, wait, interesting. Why would he say, why now, of all times? Yeah, that is I curious, think, actually. Because I think he yeah. wanted us to get away with the blue orb. Oh. So you could steal it later? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Check your bag. So we, we, we can also reload it after this. Yeah. The blue orb was in Sean's backpack all along? Bah! Should have known it feels like that would be the good-for-nothing thief. You really couldn't hide... Think of anywhere better to hide it? Hold on, that orb might not be the genuine article. Article... Allow me to confirm. I'm a little nervous right here. <laughs> the chief took the blorb. And goodbye. Yep. Foreign <laughs> rage! <laughs> what? He just took it out of your hands and left? That's so cheap. How could this happen? What lazy writing. Quick after him! Oh, the recovery train has arrived. We can begin evacuating passengers back to Reborn City. The chief has disappeared. There's a huge portal in the engine car instead. Uh... Urgent message from Reborn City. The police chief was discovered <laughs> tied up and disrobed in his bathroom. Uh... <laughs> it's Goran Rouge. What? The police chief took a portal to Reborn City just to get <laughs> naked and practice Shibari in his bathroom? Oh God. We're all on the same page. Pokemon fan game moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. The chief that boarded this train was an imposter. Yes! Who cut the lights now? The backup power supply probably ran dry. One second, please. Quickly now, the reserve power won't last. You give chase to the thief. I mean, the thief. We'll take care of things here and get all of the passengers to safety. Yeah, buddy, we... you're kind of blocking the way to the PC and the healing machine. That is true. Do we want to so. reload yeah, and use the so. blorb? Okay. I think we, like, get the upper hand if we do it ourselves. Mm. Perhaps. 
I wish to yeah, okay, where you saw this. Yeah. This is the exact same What's sequence. going on here? Sean has exposed themselves as the lying, filthy cheat they are. The blue orb was in their bag all along. A predictable and utterly blessed move. Come, let us put a stop to this devilry by force. The respectable citizens we are, we shall upend the blow from your sullied hands for everyone's sake. Oh. Oh! Well, oh. yeah, that, that kind of ruins This it. is a huge difference. Yeah, this is a big change. What's this? Wow. The rat is showing their true colors. A comrade in the crime. So you have summoned reinforcements, then? So be it. We will fight you together so that you may not make a mockery of all that is right and just. Are we about Wait. to do a battle with Hoopla <laughs> as our partner? Oh my god! Oh Holy my shit! <laughs>